massive tornado outbreak yesterday here in my county we had approximately eight this is last night eight tornado warnings with confirmed touchdowns and then we had another warning this morning which makes around nine so i mean we, we had a town that got hit pretty good last night not far from here one come through and about an hour later another tornado warning come through and i was listening on the radio they confirmed it on the ground and right after it happened they started calling out for for help from surrounding areas to come help them you know fire departments rescue squads and things like that they was calling for ambulances sheriff's department everybody and then an hour about another hour goes by another tornado comes through we, we, we was in the gauntlet last night these storms last night were tracking or training just one right behind the other about every 45 minutes to an hour a tornado would come through confirm tornadoes the weather's getting crazier we've talked about this how, how it's hot all time of the year now we don't really have four seasons no more here in alabama we have two and of course now we're starting to hear of the great cme attack this coming weekend coronal mass ejection supposed to happen this weekend starting to hear that it's supposed to be a pretty big one and it's going to affect some stuff i can't tell you that yes it's going to happen no it's not going to happen everybody bases it off the carrington event back in the 1800s when we had a coronal mass ejection that that fried the telegraph lines in the early 2000s we had one that knocked power out in canada guys i tell you every day it's just more and more building up right you got all these wars you've got massive weather events you know massive that like last night was just you, you if you were in an area where these tornadoes were coming number one i hope you're safe i hope you survived it i hope that you received no damage but these tornadoes were just lining up coming just one right after the other about every 45 minutes 30 45 to an hour another one was coming through just in a line you know we've seen that type of stuff here before but it was the big outbreak back in 2011 i believe that was the big outbreak here but these storms here lately are getting just absolutely unbelievable right now i will say the weatherman last night were telling you that the, that you're in the middle of a storm and you're standing there looking and it's not even raining the radar shows it's just pouring down rain on top of you right but you're looking at the radar you're looking in the sky, it's not even raining and the wind's just barely blowing, right? So, I mean, things are getting crazy around here. Crazy. It, this coronal mass ejection, what could happen? Let's say it hits and it's a major one like they're thinking it's going to be. And let's say it knocks out something simple, internet, right? It knocks that out. People are like, well, that's not a big deal. I can live a couple of days without internet, right? I can get by without it. Guess what? Your banking system... Yeah, all online now. Regardless, if, if you go to your bank, every banking system in America right now, is, I'm pretty sure is all online. They may be some small ones that's not, don't get me wrong. But I guarantee you they run a computer system, right? And that computer system tells them how much money you got in the bank and all that. You go to the bank to get money out. Let's say this happens, you go to the bank Monday. You're like, I need to go to the bank and get some money out. Well, the ATM don't work. Well, you go in the bank, all right? Well, I need to withdraw money. Sorry, sir, we can't access the computer systems are down. We don't, we, can, we can't do it, right? And then let's say you get auto pay, right? Your payments come through and just immediately go to your bank. How are they going to process that stuff? That's why it's important to keep cash on you, especially like last night in these storms that come through here. That's another reason to keep cash on you at all times. I'm not telling you to keep thousands and thousands of dollars on you. But keep cash on you because if you let's say your town gets hit with a tornado right you're gonna need some cash and people are like, what do you need cash for if you're not prepared and you don't have gas you know you may have to get some gas for your vehicle stores are still accepting cash right let's say that i'm talking about this that everything gets hit and knocked out right this coronal mass ejection happens and it, and it knocks out the power grid it knocks out the internet mass chaos would ensue you're at work. You Who's old enough to remember like me where you actually used a time card to clock in on, right? I mean, it was a piece of paper. You stuck it in the machine. It did its thing. You pulled it out. It had the time that you clocked in. It had the time that you clocked out on it, right? Who remembers that? Nowadays, it's not like that no more. You, you know, you go up, you got a little ID thing, and you just scan it, right? And the computer, beep, beep, beep you're good, right? All that gets knocked out. Mass chaos would ensue. A lot of people are saying that we're going to have a pole shift, that the North and South Pole is going to flip. I'm not a scientist. I don't know much about that. I don't know what it would cause. I would imagine it would cause some problems, though, if the gravitational stuff flipped around, right? 
I will tell you that our weather events, and some people are going to say it's the government, they're seeding the clouds, they're doing this and doing that. The weather is getting crazy all over the United States. We've had a massive tornado outbreak across the U.S. for the last couple of weeks, haven't we? You know, it's nothing new. We've had them before. But the size of these things are a lot larger than they used to be. Just like we're hearing that the hurricane season is going to be, you know, massive hurricane season this year. They're already warning about that. And usually with the hurricane season, if you start noticing, they'll start naming when it's not really doing much. They'll start naming little storms, right? Well, let's get this one named as a hurricane. One thing I will say about hurricanes, they tell you, you know, it's a Category 5. It's headed to you. Take shelter. Number one, you need to heed the warning. You need to be prepared for it. But how many times have you noticed when that Category 5 actually makes land, it's a 3 or a 2, right? They'll hop the heck out of the storm to scare you. And then that causes people to always sit back and go, well, they, they do this all the time and it's not going to do nothing. And it puts you in a bad situation. You need to heed the warnings and, and go into your preparedness, right? What you're going to do in that area, just like with tornadoes around here. You know, the weatherman might tell you there's a massive storm coming and you're looking out like it's bad around here. They'll cancel school if uh, the Huntsville Weather Channel makes a first alert weather day. They'll cancel schools, and I can't count how many times they have canceled schools in this area, and it hasn't even rained, right? But you still need to heed the warning, you know. You still need to be like, well, something could happen, okay, and be ready. That's why we prepare to be ready for things like this. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, you can be 100% prepared. If a tornado hits, you know, and it hits your house and whatever, you, you're in the same boat as everybody else, right? You need storm shelters in this type of situation in tornado situations they're very important they're expensive i know that you know if you got property and you own your own property maybe just dig you a hole and build you a block shelter in the ground or something but the cme that's supposedly coming this weekend i'm sure we're going to start hearing a lot more about that on youtube a lot of channels are going to start covering it they're more into that than i am you know they know more about it than i do to me it's a wait and see situation there's nothing i can do about it if it does happen right there is absolutely it's not like a tornado coming and i can go get in a storm shelter right a cme there's nothing you can do about it nothing you're not going to stop it right you're not going to be able to you know protect the earth from it if it comes right so it's going ha it happens and that's what i've been telling you we're, we're in positions where you can't stop things that are coming like this and world events you can't stop them you're, you have to react to it you have to be be in a position, though, when you react, that you can react calmly, right? You can say, all right, I've got my stuff here. I've got my stuff ready. Let's sit and see what happens, right? That's where you've got to be. You don't want to be one of these people that, you know, you're going on about your, your day every day, right? Da, 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 da. And then all of a sudden, what just happened? I didn't know nothing like this was supposed to happen. Why is my phone not working? Why is my power off? You don't want to be one of them people. Because number one, they're going to start running around trying to figure out what happens, right? So it, it gets to the point of where you can actually see why you need to be prepared. Yeah, I've told you, SHTF event does not have to be a worldwide event. It can only affect you. You know, you could get sick, injured, hurt, you know, tornado. It hits your house and doesn't hit anybody else's house, that type of stuff, right? A storm comes through and it knocks a tree down on your house. That's a SHTF event right there for you, right? It doesn't have to be this big worldwide event. And you cannot prepare for every scenario in the playbook for a SHTF event. The only thing you can do is to be prepared to the best of your ability to be able to take care of yourself and your family for an extended amount of time. That's it. You know, I, if you've got all the, the newest gear, the newest gadgets and all that, that, that's fine. You know, but honestly, you just need to be able to protect yourself and your family. That's it. You, for an extended period of time. I'm not talking about a day or two. You need to be able to sit back and be like, well, something bad happens. I'm good with this for a year. I'm good with that for a year. I'm good for this for three years. You understand what I'm saying? You know, and, and to get into, if you're getting into prepping right now, it is going to cost you a lot, a lot of money. You've kind of missed the window on being able to get into prepping cheaply. It's not too late to get to prepping, but it is too late to prep cheaply it really is you know I, i'm one of the channels that's going to tell you that because a lot of them tell you it's never too late it's not too late but it's going to cost you a lot more money and it's going to limit what you're able to put back what you're able to prep up 
because everything costs so much now, right? Groceries, one of the main prep items. We all know how much that's went up, right? Used to, uh, during the pandemic, we had a store around here that sold canned vegetables. You could catch them four for a dollar, and then they went two for a dollar, right? Well, now they're dang near a dollar a can each. So, I mean, that right there shows you it's going to cost you a lot to put stuff up, but you still need to put up. Put up whatever you can. I'm not telling you to go out here and spend thousands of dollars, right? Start off small. Put back an extra 10 15 $20 if you can afford it. 10 15 $20 a week, put that back. And a lot of people say, I can't afford that. Well, okay, do you buy coffee every day on your way to work? Yeah. Okay. How much is your coffee? Well, it's $2 a day. How many days a week do you work? I work five days a week. All right, that's $10 you could save. Okay. Do you smoke cigarettes? Do you dip? Do you drink alcohol? You see what I'm saying? There's ways to put money back that you have to be willing to sacrifice to put this money back. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of your at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. At that moment, you're the only person that can do it. I'm sure you're hearing Omega barking. He's been like that since these storms, so I'm going to go see what he's barking at. Stay safe.